If you have never used layer mask before, basically they allow you to hide or show certain parts of your layer. Now if I use my move tool and click and drag, you're gonna see it's going to move both of them at the same time. If I click on the link between my layer and my layer mask, it's gonna allow me to move each of these individually. And once I have them exactly where I want, I can go ahead and link them back again. To delete the layer mask, just click on it and delete it. But it also have deleted parts of the image. Let's undo this. Instead you should right click on the layer and choose delete layer mask. We should convert our image to smart object. Right click and convert your image to smart object. Now if we add a layer mask like we did before, and then deleted the mask, the image will stay intact since it is a smart object. We can also right click on the layer and press delete layer mask. Now let me show you how we can mask a subject. Go to select and choose subject. Add a layer mask. In this example, the artificial intelligence didn't do a good job. But you can always adjust it. You can also right click on the layer and choose disable layer mask. To enable it again, just click on the mask. Let's disable it again so we can be able to add to the mask, and mask the whole subject. I will use the pen tool to create a selection for the missing parts of this subject. I am just gonna select part of the chair for now as an example. Right click and choose make selection. Click on the mask to enable it again. Make sure the foreground color is black and then press delete to add to the layer mask. Click anywhere to deselect. If you want to hide extra part of the image, you have to make a selection, make sure the foreground is white and then press delete. Click anywhere to deselect. You can also use the brush tool to show or hide parts of the image. Click on the mask, make sure the foreground color is white. If you want to hide parts of the image, switch the foreground color to black. You can also change the brush to soft round. Start brushing. Click on the mask and let's delete it. Let me show you another trick. Choose the ellipse marquee selection tool. Make a selection while holding the shift button. Press Ctrl C to copy. Press Ctrl Shift V to paste in place. Now we have the selected part of the image on a different layer. Now let's add a stroke. Add a layer mask. Let's make a selection like this. Click on the mask. Make sure the foreground color is white and then press delete. Click anywhere to deselect. Unlink the layer from the mask. So now if I move the layer mask around, you're gonna see the stroke stays with it. If we want the mask to hide that layer effect, we're simply gonna go to blending options. Simply turn on layer mask hide effects. We can see now the layer mask hides that stroke. Now let's try another trick. Let's make a selection and add a layer mask. If I double click on the layer mask, it opens up my properties panel. You can also find it in window, properties. You can add feathering to the layer mask, which adds a softer edge. This is a nice non-destructive way to add a softer edge to your masks. You can also change the density of the mask, which makes it more or less visible. You can invert the mask by clicking this invert button, which shows the other parts of the image, and hides the selected parts. Let me show you another trick. Let's mask part of this image like this. You can copy this mask from a layer to another layer by simply hold alt and drag the layer mask from one layer to another. As you can see, we have the same mask effect on the second layer. That's it, hope you liked it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and hit the like button.